Hi, this is Mike Botts with Botts Innovative Research. We've been working with New York State GIS to, to integrate a lot of their disparate sensors using a technology called Open Sensor Hub. Um, a full description of uh, Open Sensor Hub and its use in New York State GIS is on another video. Uh, what I wanted to focus on this time is to, to show you how we've been able to add uh, geolocation or draping of imagery and video from a, from a drone in real time. Uh, right now what I'm showing is just some of the data that's available up in New York State. Data in New York includes sensor systems such as traffic cams, USGS stream gauges, the NOAA ocean buoys, AVL fleet data, meaning automated vehicle location, uh, mesonet weather. This is in addition to things like laser range finders that can allow you to tag remote locations of interest and Android devices, Android phones, which uh, make very capable body cams, uh, dash cams, and drop cams. The ability to ingest these sensor observations in Open Sensor Hub and to request them uh, as needed or as desired now allows you to integrate all this sensor data into a common operating picture as we're doing in the current client. You can also integrate these data into workflows so that you can uh, do higher level reasoning and actually uh, trip responses based on sensor observations. At the moment we're not in New York State, we're down in Madison, Alabama. We will be coming to New York soon to be able to demonstrate in real time the integration of this drone video data with the other data sets that you've seen here so far. But for the moment we'll use the same client uh, along with some previously recorded data down in Alabama. Uh, all of this data has been sent up to an Open Sensor Hub node. The data includes GPS data for the location of the drone, it includes IMU data for orientation, it includes the gimbal settings, uh, as well as the video itself. And then we also have a sensor model uh, that takes into account the, uh, the characteristics of the lens. So this all happens actually in real time, allowing you to, to be able to do this draping of the video as it's coming in. Uh, you can also take previously uh, recorded data from, from an Open Sensor Hub node and stream it as if it's uh, a real-time playback and do the same thing. So what you're seeing here is exactly what you would also see in real time. So as the data streaming in real time or in playback mode, it's running through a process that on, on demand uh, figures out the rectification of, of the video onto 3D terrain. You'll notice it's not always perfect. Uh, part of that is because this is an off-the-shelf drone that we purchased for three to $400 at the time. So the sensors are probably not that great. Also, it was never designed to do what we're having it do here. So the time tagging of the data is, is not as good as it should be, particularly the video data. So at times you'll see things to be off. Our previous work with high quality drones has shown that it's quite possible to have very high quality geo rectification even during real time processing. Still, even with the quality shown here, we see that it's still quite helpful for surveillance of an, of an incident scene as well as perhaps tracking uh, someone during a manhunt. The fact that the drone video is, is georectified directly onto the map allows you to drop points that indicate features of interest. These locations can then be sent to the rest of the team.